YouTube channel. So today, you know that sound is like a ticking, 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 ticking sound. So um, I've done some research on that, and uh, presumably they say that it could be the butterfly valve in the in the sixth valve. We have the butterfly valve of the Tevis, which opens off a certain RPM to let more air in or whatever, so on. So they say those things usually go bad or they get loose or whatever, and that's what makes that ticking sound. I don't know if you can hear it, just, just give it a listen. That's the sound, and like people say, it could have, like I did some research, I was on YouTube, Google, whatever, they said it could have been, it could be the butterfly that's making a noise, or it could have been the tensioner pulley, but they, they, the video I watched was on a Hyundai, and they had hydraulic tensioners, so they said they, they, they think it was running low on, fu on fluid, so that was making a noise, it was knocking around, so I, think, I checked my tensioner and everything seems to be okay, that everything is fast there. Um, uh, another way to diagnose where the noise is coming from, if you hear a noise like this, is to take a screwdriver and uh, put it against your alternator or the water pump or wherever you suggest or wherever you assume the noise is coming from and put your ear to it. You will hear the same vibrations through that sound and you will hear exactly where it's coming from. And another way to eliminate, if you do think it's on your pulleys, your alternator it's making a noise or whatever, that ticking noise, um, just take off the alternator valve because then None of those things will run, including I think your auto, uh, only on this car, but I think some cars the auto pumps are connected with the alternator belt as well. So don't run it too long because your car might overheat or whatever. But yeah, uh, if it sounds like me pull inside, take off the alternator belt and then from there you should know uh, if it is your auto, because if you take the alternator belt off, auto is not going to run, the auto is not going to run and then you can cancel those things out. Um, but yeah, like I, I, I checked mine, um, it's coming from the intake, I put the, the screwdriver against it and I heard it and it's coming, it's definitely coming from the intake. Then you guys can listen, I'm going to put the phone there. I first thought it was maybe a shim noise or whatever, but it's not. I checked from the head and there's no noise coming from me. And you listen there, you know, the valve, valve is wired, but you put it here to the back. See if I put it at the back, that's where most of the noise is coming. So I think to my mechanic and they said I shouldn't worry about it. Because on the on this car, the four the 60 valves, 4 g 60 valves, we have I think it's a brass or metal, but I think it's brass. The butterflies are brass, so he said it's highly unlikely those things would even break. So um, I shouldn't worry about it. And the screws that go into the butterfly doesn't come completely out. So even that can't even go into the into the head. So he said I shouldn't worry about it. Um, the 4G is usually a, a bit of a noisy motor, but yeah. You see, like on the BMWs, they have the plastic clips, and those are more prone to break than what these metal or brass ones are that I have in this engine. So, I said I shouldn't worry about it, but um, I just made this video for you guys that do hear a noise like this, and you guys can diagnose it all by yourself instead of wasting your money going to someone else and then what the problem could be. So, yeah, if you think it's coming from me, please take the disconnect the alternator bulb. Give it a listen there. If the noise is completely gone, you know it's somewhere on the pulleys. And um, if you and if you don't want to do that, you can even use the method that, that I spoke about now. Where you use a screwdriver, put it against the part where you assume it's coming from, and put the ear to it. If the noise is extreme, I mean, you'll notice it immediately if, it's, if the sound is coming from there. So yeah. Right now I'm actually busy with the engine flush because tomorrow. I'm going to do a dyno tune in the car, RPT. So I made an appointment there, they said tomorrow around 2 o'clock I'll be going there to get this bad boy dyno tune because of the 5,000, 4,500 is no power and the car just spits and burps and does all kinds of funny things. So tomorrow I'm going to get a tune there. Um, but yeah, I just, uh, like this morning I was checking the timing and stuff because all those things have to be correct when you go and do a dyno tune. So timing is in and everything and yeah, I'll catch you guys when I dine it in the car. So seeing at the end here, yeah, I might as well show you guys how to do this kitchen flash is pretty simple all the instructions is at the back i'm using evron 
simply just get your car to optimal temperature and then check your dipstick if the oil is still 100% at the safe level and then throw this in and add it for 10 to 15 minutes and drain it. Clap up your uncle, safe.